Hey guys, Shock Therapy once again, and we're here to show you how to install a front limit strap kit on an XP Pro equipped with our Fox RC2s. This limit strap kit is the best on the market for multiple reasons, but the main thing it's going to give you, it's going to stop all the extension clunk that's prevalent in any of the XP Pros. Our limit strap kits are adjustable so that you can keep up on the overall stretch throughout the lifetime of your car, as well as having the least amount of leverage on the system since they line up with the shock at the exact angle and distance that they need to be. This installation is relatively easy. It should take you about an hour to install. So let's go over to Mitch and have him show us exactly how to put them on. What's up guys, it's Mitch. Today we're gonna show you how to do the install of the front limit straps on the RC2s for the XP Pro. Let's get after it. First, jack the car up to where the tires are just off the ground. Use jack stands for safety at all times. Because the shocks are side specific, make sure that you remove one shock at a time. Start with the lower hardware first, finishing with the upper hardware. With the shock in the vise, install the limit strap clamp. Make sure that the logo is right side up. With the clamp installed on the shock, make sure that the hole for the adjustable clevis is lined up with the upper shock bolt. This should be facing the rear of the car towards the firewall. Tighten the hardware for the billet clamp to 20 foot-pounds. When you tighten the clamp, make sure that it is raised up on the shock as far up as it can be, butted up against the bridge of the shock. Next, install the adjustable clevis. Start with the clevis adjusted to where the upper nut is flush with the threaded portion as well. Always use a little bit of Loctite on the retaining bolt for the limit strap. Install the limit strap and tighten the hardware. Adjust the static length of the limit strap on the bench an inch and a half above the lower loop hole of the shock. This should be measured center of hole to center of hole. Okay. With the adjustment set, you can now tighten the adjustable clevis. As you tighten the clevis, make sure that the limit strap is not twisted. You can now install the shock back on the car, starting with the upper hardware first. Using the longer supplied lower bolt, install the shock on the lower control arm. Slide the stainless steel spacer over the shock bolt and the factory nut to retain the spacer. Do not install the limit strap at this time. Repeat these steps on the opposite shock. Both front shocks installed back on the car and the hardware left loose. Remove the jack stands and lower the car back on the ground. You must settle the suspension enough to allow the strap to install on the lower bolt. This might require you driving the car back and forth. With the car on the ground, remove the factory nut and install the limit strap. Do not tighten the hardware at this time.
Next, jack the car up off the ground. This is going to straighten the limit straps so that when you tighten the lower hardware, the strap is perfectly straight. Tighten all the shock hardware at this time. Once again, lower the car back on the ground and attach the tether. This should be attached and wrapped around the coil spring closest to the tether, leaving approximately one inch of gap between the strap and the coil spring. Once both strap tethers are attached, your installation is now complete. Thank you, Mitch, for showing us how to install that kit. As you can see, it's actually pretty easy to put on. This limit strap kit is going to stop all of your extension clunk, but it's up to you to adjust it as it stretches over time. If you start to hear the extension clunk after the first couple of hundred miles, merely adjust the kit a quarter inch shorter than it is to stop the shock from fully extending. The factory front shocks are exactly 27 and three quarters of an inch from hole to hole fully extended. We want to make sure that over time you keep that system choked up by about a quarter of an inch with the strap. Verify that measurement after you've adjusted it. If you ever hear any extension clunk, merely adjust it a quarter inch shorter than that and the clunk will go away. As with all of our products, these things are available individually on our site if you need any replacement parts. If you have any other questions about this kit, give us a call at 623-217-4959 or to purchase anything else that we offer, go to our website, shocktherapist.com. Hi guys, I'm very sad, like Chase, and I'm listening to the song Sad, doesn't make me happy. I like it, I'm keeping it, definitely going in the bloopers Mitch, definitely going in the bloopers. I like the let's get after it, and I really appreciate the hands and enthusiasm Mitchell. Okay, okay, uh. so your first one, I need you acknowledging the car from that side. I'm sad, I know ya. Sad, I know ya. Hey, Mitch, can you grab the shock and come around the front of the car and show it to the camera? I'm sad, I know ya. Why do I always do that, Chase? I don't know. You maybe have been eating too many butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So funny.